Thanks, Tom. Let's see if there's any generous people out here on the street. What's the most generous thing you've done for someone? Most generous thing I've done for someone? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, donate to charity. What charity? I've donated to a couple, like, kids' hospitals, a couple, like, food charities. I know uh, there's one in specific, like, I think DoorDash has one, too, as well, where you donate to kids and stuff like that. So things like that. The most generous thing I've done for someone is probably drive across two states to go pick them up from college <laughs> for my girlfriend. So that's probably the most generous thing I've done for her. Was that for her or for you? It was for her. Her <laughs> car broke down. It, she needed a, a way back home, so I'm going to go pick her up. <laughs> I filled up my best friend's gas tank for Christmas, and it cost me, like, 40 bucks, so probably that. <laughs> uh, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I suppose it really depends on how it's impacted them. Um, we can talk about giving people money to get through the day. We can talk about giving people food. But ultimately, it's how... Um, how it impacts them on a personal level that really de like uh, determines that. Um, I can give someone 20 bucks and that means nothing to me, but if 20 bucks gets them through the week or through the month, then there's a huge impact on them. Uh, I mean, that's a, you know, I could have, I could say giving someone, you know, hundreds of dollars hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars, which I have done, like the people I've told you in the Philippines, or something small that's insignificant to me, but may be life-changing for someone else. So I, I can't answer that in the way you might want. It's subjective to each individual. Help pay someone's bills. Give them rides. I take food over to friends when they're sick or something. What's the most generous thing someone has ever done for you? This one man, actually, this, like, story just pops up in my head. I was sitting down in front of Sheets, just, like, getting a drink or something, and he was like, hey, you, I have no idea who this man is, and he just, like, stopped me, and he's like, here's 20 bucks, because God told me to give it to you. And I was like, okay. He's like, it looked like you needed 20 bucks. I totally needed 20 bucks, and it was great. It was so, that was the nicest thing I think anybody's ever done for me. It, it was also, like, really crazy the way it just happened because I had no idea who it, he was and it was just so nice and I was so thrilled. It was so nice. Do you think God was telling you he loves you with that $20? Maybe. Maybe. That's what was crazy about it. So I was like, what? What's going on? This guy doesn't know me. What's going on? And it was just really nice. So maybe he did. I don't know. But if he did, it's very sweet. I would say is take me back home from Kent, I guess. That's probably the most generous thing someone's done for me, I think. Ain't my mom, but she does a lot of things that's generous, so I love her. <laughs> my mom paying for my college, probably. <laughs> yeah, that. Leading me to Christ and teaching me about his sacrifice for me. It has vastly changed my life uh, for the better, for the benefit. I used to be someone who would stay in his room all the time, alone, um, wallowing away in misery and depression and anxiety until people started talking to me about Christ. And when I did make that decision to accept his sacrifice and to accept a relationship with him, then things began to change in my life. I began to come out of my shell. I began to, you know, talk to people and have friends who poured more love into me because they themselves were Christians as well. And through that, everything has gotten so much better. He, God has given me a wonderful career to start up in. He has given me wonderful friends to be a part of, and he's given me a beautiful home to live in. Um, I've had people do quite a bit for me, you know. I've had friends help me when I was down, uh, family that's been there when I needed them. I mean, it's I've had a lot of help for myself. That's why I don't mind helping others. I mean, I have my daughter's half-brother living with me right now. He's 10, no relation to me, but I want him to be raised how I see fit, uh, taught good values, and the only way I saw that happening is by taking him in. Help pay my bills, giving me rides, uh, yeah. Help me to find um, shelter and food. What's the most generous tip you've ever left for a server? Generous tip, uh, I think $15. $15, yeah. Most generous tip I left for a server would probably be un, like around 10 to 12 bucks, I guess. 
if, it, if it's just for me, if it's paying for everybody, probably like 25, I think is the most I've ever left. That's probably about it. I think I'll tip the bill once. It was like a $40 bill, I tipped 40. Uh, for a server, I think I was out with my friends one day, um, just, you know, reckless spending, and I think I, I tipped a, a waitress $20 before we even ordered our food. So <laughs> that was fun. Oh, I've left uh, $100 bills for servers. There are still a few generous people out here. Back to you, Tom. If you liked what you saw, make sure to like that video and comment below. Hit the subscribe button for more content uploaded weekly.